Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thank you for coming back. Today I'm going to do a whole face using only e.l.f. cosmetics. So e.l.f. is one of my favorite brands, not just affordable brands, but just brands in general. I think they have such high quality products for such an amazing price. And I think, especially over the past couple of years, they've really, really improved their products and the quality that they're putting out there. And I really appreciate that, making those kinds of products accessible to the masses. I just love it. I love it, I love it. So I have a lot of things here that I'm gonna show you guys that are new things I have not tried before and a few things that I love and I've tried and I've used over and over again. So I got a little mix of things here. And if you wanna see how I created this little festive look, keep on watching. Thank you. Okay, I think I have just about a full face here. I might be missing one or two things. I went a little crazy on the e.l.f. website. I have a lot of new products, but also some products that I already own that I know that I love. So I'm really excited to do this full face of e.l.f. When you guys are seeing this, it's later, but... Today is Christmas Eve, so I'm excited to get ready. Um, and look festive. Okay, first of all, so I wanted to share a purchase that I haven't used yet and I'm going through another moisturizer before I open this up, but I've heard really good things about Elf's skincare. And in particular, their Super Hydrate Moisturizer with Hydrating Squalane. So this is supposed to be really, really good. Good ingredients, gentle. I haven't even opened up the actual, I don't wanna open it, but. Maybe I will. It's pretty heavy, pretty big package. Ooh, it's like a jelly, a jelly consistency. It's not, it's not a lotion. Whoa, that's weird. I didn't expect that. It's completely clear. Wow, that feels really nice. No fragrance, which is perfect. I don't like fragrance in my skincare. So I will keep you updated on that. I just wanted to share that I had purchased that. So I'm gonna start with my eyes as usual. I do not have an eye primer. Oh, I do have an eye primer from e.l.f. I forgot. Don't. This is the putty eye primer. This is in the shade Rose. Okay, now for me, I don't love this eye primer. It's a little dry for me. Like it's completely dried up pretty much here and I've got long nails so it's hard for me to dig my finger in there but once you warm it up a little bit it does start to soften. It, this is not a translucent eye primer. This is tinted so that's nice if you want to block out any discoloration on your eyelids. I would say if you have dry eyelids though you you probably don't want this. So for eyeshadows, I've got a couple of options here today. I have a couple of these Smaller palettes from, oh, I see one, hold on, on the floor. So I've got a couple of these bite size eyeshadow palettes. I have cream and sugar and I have pumpkin pie. So these are really cute little affordable trios. I think they're $3 each. So you really can't beat that. The eyeshadows are very pigmented. They're very easy to work with and they're so cute. Like look how little, they're really cute. So this one is brand new. I actually haven't used it, cream and sugar. So I think I might dip into this one today. And I also have the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. This palette I love. I did get this in the summertime, maybe fall. And it came out in the summertime. I'm pretty sure I've seen it in store still. So I think it is available. If it's online, I'll of course link it, but really, really cute shades. Lots of different colors, lots of brights, some neutrals. So I might dip into this as well. Thank you. 
baby. That metallic shade came out way more icy than I thought it was going to. Looking at it in here, it looks a little more, well, on camera it looks kind of the same, but in person it looks a little bit more like champagne gold, and this looks like icy silver white, which actually is what I was hoping for anyway, so I'll go with it. So I don't have an eyeliner, actually. I'm just gonna draw a line, I'm not gonna do a wing. I'm just gonna line my upper lash line. So e.l.f. just came out with a new mascara. This is the Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara in black. Really excited to try this out. So let's open her up. I don't have very good lashes to start with. So I'm not really setting the bar very high. We'll see, I'm gonna put on fake lashes. So, you know, doesn't come out great, doesn't come out great. But let's see, I'm gonna curl my lashes. Ooh, the brush is like silicone-y and it's got, it's got little tiny spikes, like plastic spikes. Looks dangerous. <laughs> okay, first initial thoughts, it gave me zero volume. <laughs> like zero volume. It kind of separated my lashes, but zero volume. Sometimes a mascara you have to like use them a few times for them to like slightly dry out so that they can actually grab onto your lashes, I find. Ooh, I knew that was gonna happen. The damn spike just poked me in the eyeball. Oh my God. <laughs> Pause please. A few moments later. Well, that's gonna be a no from me. I'll keep trying it, but it poked me in the eye, so it's on my list. Okay, moving on. Well, now that my natural lashes look like complete crap, I'm gonna pop on a pair of falsies. These ones are from e.l.f. and these are a gem. Very inexpensive and they're really, really fluffy and multi-dimensional. They're not just like plasticky looking fake lashes. These are the Foam Ink Lashes in the style Drama Queen. Really nice quality for the price. Really nice quality in general. I love them. They actually come with a lash applicator as well if you are needing one, so that's cool. So I'm gonna pop these on. I'm going to use my Duo Lash Glue. Not a huge fan of this lash applicator. It's a little cheap feeling, but the lashes I love. I have already prepped my skin off camera with my usual prep, my moisturizer, my eye cream, my under eye corrector. So we're gonna move right into the foundation. So I have two foundations from e.l.f. One I have reviewed on my channel, the Camo CC Cream. And spoiler alert, I loved it, but I will link that video down below if you wanna check it out to get a little bit more in depth of why I love it. So I have this, I have this in the shade Light 240W. And then I also picked up their Flawless Satin Foundation. Now, I think in my mind, I'm this like bronzed Italian goddess. Why I would get a shade this dark, I have no clue. Like, what was I thinking? Like, no, I'm not. <laughs> this is in the uh, shade 300 Sand. So I'm gonna have to save this for like summertime. So I'm gonna use the Camo CC <laughs> cream. Look at the difference. So I'm gonna just apply this with my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, my favorite sponge of all time. High end or drugstore, $5. So I'm just gonna pump this directly onto the sponge and apply it to my face. Now I had a really hard time shade matching myself with their concealers online. I should have just went in store because this is the hydrating version. So this I've never tried before. 
I think this looks too dark. So if it is too dark, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the light shade of the regular camo concealer that I have. Right off the bat, I don't think it has enough coverage for me. I'm really picky about my concealers. I need like full, full, full coverage because I've got such dark under eyes. Let me see if I can add a second layer and build it up. That mascara, by the way, is like transferring like crazy. I don't ever have that issue. It's definitely more hydrating like it says it is. Like there's definitely a shine. Do you see that? The second layer built it up a little bit better. I can already tell it's gonna majorly crease on me. Just gonna pop this in the center of my face just to cover up any redness. I'm trying not to smile, I'm trying to be serious so my under eyes don't wrinkle. Okay, my next product I've heard really good things about. I'm a little nervous. But I have the Halo Glow Setting Powder in the shade Light, all right? So it says it sets makeup and creates a soft focus blurred finish. So I guess it's supposed to have a little bit of a sheen to it. That's why it's called Halo Glow. I'm gonna open this puppy up. I don't know, I just, for me, nothing beats Tarte Shape Tape still to this day. I just can't find anything that works better for me. This, I just, I don't like how my under eyes look at all. Damn. I wanted to like it. Uh, before I set the rest of my face, they came out with some cream blushes, which I was super excited about. So I just got one shade. This is the Putty Blush in the shade Bahamas. I've been really into cream blushes lately, so I'm very excited to try this. And I bought their stipple brush. So I figured I could use this for the cream blush. Looks like this inside, very nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna swirl my brush in. Just gonna put it on the back of my hand first, test it out how pigmented it is. Looks pretty sheer, so that's good. It's very pretty, actually. Definitely looks less intense on the cheeks than it does in the jar. That's pretty, I like that. I like this brush, it's really small, so you can kind of just target where you want the blush to go. I'm looking bumpy and lumpy today. My lovely little lumps, check it out. Look at all the bumps on my face. Just have to be careful when we put highlighter on. I'm gonna take that Halo Glow setting powder and I'm just gonna set the rest of my face because that was my only cream product I was gonna use on my face. So wanted to do that before I put the powder on the rest of my face. The setting powder is interesting. It definitely has a glow to it. Like I can tell when I move my face back and forth, I can see the glow. I don't really like it under my eyes. I wish I'd put a different powder under my eyes and just put this on the rest of my face. I think that would have been pretty. So I'll use it like that next time and see. I picked up their bronzer, their powder bronzer. This is the primer infused bronzer in the shade Perpetually Tan. Again, this is gonna be way too dark for me. I don't know what I was thinking, so. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, that was nice. I used a super light hand with it, and I feel like that made it easier to control. Okay, and Earlier this year, they came out with these little duos, cheek duos. So they have like a blush and a highlight in one little compact, great for traveling. 
And again, I think these are like two or $3. They're very, very affordable. So I have the shade Spiced Apple and White Peach. I wanna use the Spiced Apple Blush and the highlighter in the White Peach. I'm gonna take the highlight from the White Peach first. I'm gonna dip into the highlight part. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, my bumps are so bad. And now I'm gonna take the blush side from the Spiced Apple. I'm gonna apply that. I'm gonna be very light with it. I'm just gonna set my cream blush. Pretty, perfect color. Love that, love that. All right, I'm gonna do my brows. This is a product I'm really excited to use. I've heard really good things about it and it's very inexpensive. So I love finding drugstore and affordable eyebrow pencils. So this is the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Neutral Brown. I like this eyebrow pencil. I love the color. I think it matches really well. It's a cool toned neutral slash neutral brown. And it's definitely a buildable formula. So it's not like super pigmented where it looks like your eyebrows are so obviously drawn on. Like the color is soft enough that you can be a little bit more heavy handed with it. So I like that about it for sure. So I'm gonna keep using it. I think, I think it's nice. And again, very affordable. Okay, I'm gonna go onto my lower lash line. I'm gonna go back into my eyeshadows. So what did you guys do for Christmas? Did you even wear makeup? Did you wear your pajamas? Did you get dressed up? What did you do? I'd love to know. Here comes my favorite part. I'm gonna set my face with some setting spray. This is the Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. And it says it's long lasting, so that's nice. I love coconut, coconut scented things. Let me do a couple test sprays away from my face. Ooh, that feels like a super fine mist. Mmm, it's really nice. Smells really good. Okay, I'm gonna set my brows. This I know I love, I've had it for a while. It's the Wow Brow Brow Gel in the shade Neutral Brown. Very, very good tinted brow gel. My neighbors decided to uh, just start vacuuming, so. And finally, we're down to lips. I have some of the lip liners from the Retro Paradise collection. I have these two like nudish brown colors. So I'm gonna use the lighter nude color. They don't have the names on here. Again, I think they have these in store at least at Target. It comes with like a little kit. I have two of their Seriously Satin lipsticks. I have the shade Cream, which is like a super, super light light pink. And then I just picked up this new one called Nectar. So I'm gonna try out this one first. Ooh. Love the texture. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put on a gloss too. So this came in the uh, Retro Paradise lip kit. It's this clear gloss with these multicolored sparkles in it. So pretty, so festive in the shade A Moment. Oh. Just to add a little sparkle, you know? It's Christmas. Okay, you guys, and that is it. This is my full face of Elf, and I think it came out pretty cute. There are a couple of things I was a little iffy about. The concealer, ugh, I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. I'm gonna keep trying it though, for sure. The setting powder, I'm not 100% sure about either, but I'm gonna keep using it. But I love the eyebrow products. I love the eyeshadows. I love the lashes. The mascara, I'm gonna have to try out a little bit more. So far, I don't love it. I love the cream blush and I love the brush.
the brush, the stipple brush that I applied it with. So I don't know, I I'm happy with the look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.